Hi, I'm Miles Budimer, Senior Motion Control Editor with uh, Design World Magazine. We're here in Cleveland today, and uh, IGUS is visiting us today with the uh, iGlide car. I'm here with uh, Nicole Lang, who is the Product Manager for the iGlide Bearings product line. Um, and I actually have one of the bearings right here in my hand. It's a plastic bearing, and um, Nicole is going to tell us about the plastic bearings as well as the relationship to the car here as well, right? Yes. That's correct. So I guess for those of you who aren't familiar, we make motion plastics, specifically bearings or cable carriers. And we actually have decided to retrofit a car, um, taking out the metallic bearings, replacing them with plastic bearings. And part of the point of this tour is really to show that plastic bearings do last, do withstand the test of time, and also rough terrain, as well as multiple different climates. So a little background about the tour. The tour started in India. It made its way through China, um, pretty much all of Asia, Japan, Taiwan, made its way to Brazil. From there, it worked its way up to Anchorage, Alaska. So the North American part of the tour started in Anchorage, and really we've been working our way south and back east um, throughout since August 4th here in North America. Hmm. The car has currently about 38,000 miles on it. Everything's working great, and there's a variety of plastic bearings in multiple applications throughout the car. Uh, so you mentioned several different places in the car that, uh, that, the, that the bearings are being used. I noticed this uh, little piece of uh, equipment we have here. What do we have here and uh, what can you tell us about it? So this is um, actually for the convertible top. So you can see here there's quite a few of our plastic bearings replace the metallic bearings here. This is mostly an oscillating type motion and you have um, basically this is the adjustable function for the convertible top. So replacing the metallic bearings here helped with quite a few issues. First of all, we, there's no maintenance required. They're all self-lubricating bearings. They're great in corrosion type environments. So if for some reason the convertible top's open, the car gets wet for any reason. There's no corrosion issues. Um, great in different temperatures and excellent if they do see some dirt or dust. No external lubricants for that to adhere to. So that's one of the applications in the car. Some of the other applications um, are the windshield wipers, the gear shifter, the parking brake, the alternator, the throttle valve. So there's uh, multiple applications in which we've replaced our plastic bearings, um, replaced the metallic bearings with our IGUS plastic bearings. And we do have a full lab report available that actually shows all of the different areas that we've replaced the bearings and talks a little bit technically about each of those different applications. So there was something about a teardown uh, after all of this Grand World Tour. Could you tell us about um, about that and what what that's going to show? Or? Sure. So after it leaves, after the car leaves the U.S. and it, that will be about October eighth time frame, the car will then continue its journey through Europe and it will continue a European tour. At which point in April, there's a large um, trade show at Hanover Fair. And at Hanover Fair, the car will actually be deconstructed so that everyone can see really how durable the iGlide plastic bearings are and how well they fared. So you'll actually have good visual of the parts functioning in the iGlide car. So this is an example here. But at Hanover, you'll have the component itself will be visible and shown to everybody. So. So if people want to find out more about the car, the bearings, how can they do that? Yeah, absolutely. So if you just go to igus.com, all of the bearings are there on our website. And also from there, you can subscribe to a blog that we have specifically for the car tour, which includes not only the North American portion, but also the European portion that's upcoming. That website is blog.igus.com. Um, very interesting to read about where the car's journey has taken us, both for landmarks, customers, and a variety of different places that the car has been. Sounds great. So you can follow along on their on their tour, and uh, everybody should go to Hanover Fair then, I guess, right, in April to see. Uh, so thanks a lot for stopping by and uh, showing us uh, the car and uh, the iGlide uh, bearings, and uh, wish you the best of luck. Thank you.